What do you got, any words of wisdom? What about for all the other kids trying to learn how to ride their bike? Can you say anything to them? Everybody, I know you can believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. If you don't, you just keep practicing. You will get the hang of it, I know it. If you, if you keep practicing, you will keep get the hang of it. And then you can get better and better at it if you get, if you do it. Give me some thumbs up. Thumbs up, everybody. All right. For rock and roll. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on another wonderful episode of the Radio Nomad. As always, I'm Joe Bag of Donuts, your host, coming at you from Rumpus Studios, South Minneapolis, here with Slam. Hey, hi, I'm here. And the beard. I'm here too. Beard the too. beard. Uh, our our own personal big guy. Yeah. And that that uh, that intro pep talk is that's pretty much just for our benefit. Um, totally because as as we discovered a couple uh episodes ago when uh, pickles was on um we this is all just uh, a prelude to our ultimate release when come year year uh our year of practice if if you don't believe in yourself you're never going to make it and so that little boy in the beginning told us if you believe in yourself you can do anything like put the radio nomad on itunes Oh, I, I thought, like you were saying, at the end of the year, we were all going to learn how to ride a bike. And I was really excited because it's, <laughs> it's been a lifelong dream of mine. <laughs> yeah. Although I am tired of children laughing at me. Uh, I, I get that. Everywhere I go. <laughs> Just on a daily basis. Just, it's a constant thing. You damn kids. Getting beat up by, you know, seven-year-old girls. I know. Can you believe the youth these days? Uh, they're just a bunch of hoodlums. The crime in this in this Crumb city. bums. Crumb bums. Crumb bums. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's what I'm going with. Well, uh, Sam. Uh, yeah. A hearty radio nomad. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Your uh, birthday is kind of in between fortnights, in between shows. So we'll give you a little on the front side, a little on the back side. If you know what I'm saying. Oh. A little more on the back oh, side. Oh <laughs> yeah, I understand that reference. So how was your birthday, man? It was good. It was good. Had a little bonfire. Had a few people over. Um, oh yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah. So was Beard. You were there, and Beard was there, and Auntie M, you were there too. Mm -hmm. And we had a, uh, yeah, there was Stu. I believe I I passed out Stu, because where where I come from, if it's your birthday, you're supposed to feed everybody. Mm. That's what I always learn. Is that, that must be uh, in the Jewish community. Um, I don't know if it's a Jewish thing so much as a Zinner thing. Totally Jewish. No, oh, fair enough. Oh, that reminds me of something. So I saw this like, this like ad. It's like this picture, and it says like, you know, it says um, it says New York. It shows three baseball hats. And one of them says Cleveland Indians because that's a real baseball Cleveland. team. Oh, I saw this one too. Yeah. And it, then the second one says like San Francisco uh, Chinamen, and then the third one says New York Jews. Actually, it said New York Kikes. No. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> oh, the one I saw did. Oh, okay. But anyway, so Photoshop. So anyway, like I got to thinking, like, you know, do you think that the, that Jews would really be so upset if there was a New York Jews baseball team? No, I don't. Oh know. my God! Of course they would. <laughs> I don't know. I saw. I saw. That an is un- absurd. An Onion article the other day, and it was it, the headline was "Kike owner won't change name of Cleveland Indians." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Or no, it was the Redskins. The Redskins. That's mm. that's, oh. that's the one people are uh, there. Oh, he's Jewish. 
Maybe. I don't know. Dan Snyder. Dan Snyder. Yeah, Daniel Snyder. Is that a Jewish name or something? Uh, maybe. It's a drug. I think it st- is. It's a drugstore name is what it is. I mean, it used to be. <laughs> Sn- Snyderman's? That's a furniture store, isn't it? No, Snyder's. You remember Snyder's Drug Stores? Oh, Snyder's. Before Walgreens bought them out and chased them with pitchforks into the Netherlands. And then took a crap on all their employees. Not mm-hmm. that I would know or anything. And just canned everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I remember that. Yeah. Well, I meant on all its own employees. I used to work at Walgreens. Oh, did you? Yeah. I uh, I have a friend who's worked there nigh on like fifteen years now. Well, it used to not be it, like probably when that friend started, it was great. Um, but well, she's left and come back like four or five times oh, now. It's, she just can't get enough. I guess I don't know. <laughs> uh, it seems to pay her bills. So who am I to you know That's judge? True. I'm There's... here. I am judging, but who am I to do it? Your slam, woot. And yeah, you've been, you've been yeah. you've had nomad cred bestowed in the past, and so therefore that's who you are, and you are allowed to judge and criticize whoever you damn well please. That's what my tramp snap says, and Radio that's what I do nomad. on a constant basis. And so that leads me to my next point. Um, I'm not a big Halloween guy. I kind of judge those who are big Halloween goers as hmm. sometimes uh, stuck in their. Uh, early teens but hmm. i think that's maybe a little bit unfair uh, on my part are you guys big halloween guys are you I guys like big halloween. halloweeners yeah i like halloween I, I i i very much enjoy halloween it seems to sneak up on me every year so i never really have a costume ready yeah. so i do end up in that sort of like well fuck halloween i yep, think you that's guys what the problem is is that mm-hmm. i'm just too lazy for halloween mm-hmm. exactly i got i already have my costume oh really let uh, me guess do you want to share lumberjack <laughs> Uh, no. Davy Crockett. You want more guesses? Because you can keep going. Um, Beached Whale. Uh, Pirate Hooker. A pirate? A buffet? Pirate Buffet. All right, what is it? I, All that, right. Those are my best guesses. Well, so we're pretty damn good. I'm gonna, so here's the thing. Is I'm going to be a karate cat. You're going to be a cat? No, a karate cat. But it ends with cat. Right. So here's the thing is that like, Yeah, I think we're done. No, I I wanted to just be karate, right? I wanted to just be karate. Just You wanted to be You wanted to be a noun. the personification of karate itself. Yeah, man. I mean, I have I have my karate my karate uniform. And I've got like I've got it all set up, but then of course when I tell people that, they're like, "Oh, that's it?" It seems like I feel like Halloween costumes have gotten to the point where, like, you can't just be, like, one simple little thing. Have they really gotten to that point, or were they just always that way? No. Mm -hmm. Like, you used to be able to just be a ghost. Well, Now you have to be, be, like, a sexy ghost. My my issue has been that uh, Halloween costumes have gotten away from... My understanding of it as as a child was you're supposed to get something scary going. Yeah. You're supposed to dress as scary as you can. And now it just seems to be, oh, you know, dress up. As something else. Yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like for for girls, it's be a slutty something. And for guys, it's be a girly something. Uh, I don't know about that. Mm. You haven't been going to the right Halloween parties. Yeah, you've been well, going I was at your, really your birthday party, party, and you were wearing like a woman's figure skating outfit. So I guess maybe I thought you got confused. And hey, oh, my goodness. Hey, I, w- I wore one for a little up. bit, too, until I couldn't feel my legs. And then <laughs> you I, were high. I thought the taint would be the first to fall asleep. Uh, you well, ever get I, that when you're, like, when you're sitting on a hard surface, like, on the ground, and you kind of have your knees bent, and, like, you're leaning up against the wall, but you're, you, you're doing something wrong because, like, kind of like your butt cheeks and then your, your taint, like, area between your balls and ass kind of goes numb nah man you should see a doctor oh yeah did you guys like (laughs) circulation i guess (laughs) how was the stew by the way i I didn't get a lot of feedback on the stew did y'all get stew no i didn't get any stew i was too lazy i was too late like i had gotten there kind of late so i just wasn't like in the mood to eat anything but i mean i'm sure it was really good yeah i heard a lot of people saying really good things Uh, Uh, this girl sitting next to me uh, she let me smell her bowl afterwards, and that smelled pretty good. You're gonna get in so oh, much trouble for saying that. <laughs> her bowl, come on, her bowl of stew. Uh huh. You're not. You're digging a hole. <sighs> Speaking of holes, what are you doing for Halloween? What am I doing for Halloween? I Can believe, I yeah, you are more than welcome. Mm. Uh, I, I think me and my friend Katie are gonna meet up, and we're gonna 
you know, get really, really hammered, and then we're going to cover ourselves in a uh, reflective tape, and then we're going to go biking around. Do you have and, to do it in that order? Uh, yes. I feel like that wouldn't it be a little better if you did the tape thing before getting really hammered so you did it right? Yeah, but it'd be funnier. Uh, it'd be more did. fun to do it while hammered. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. Wait, when are you guys going to, like, so Halloween's on this Thursday. Yeah. So it's kind of a weird time because... You a either, lot of parties are this weekend. Yeah, what but I'm it's finding. like so. It's like still, you know, if it's Saturday, it's still five days away. But I think people are still like of the mind that oh well, you know, you have to do it the weekend before because at least it's in October. Because once November first hits, it's like well, throw away your Halloween costume and burn the candy right. corn. You have to do it Ugh. like it's weird it's celebrating Halloween burn. after Halloween. Mm-hmm. Speaking of candy corn. Do any of you guys like candy corn? No one likes candy corn. Do, does anyone like? I think it's like the number one selling candy at Halloween, and yet <laughs> it, it's so barf. Like, I, I don't know. My man. mother actually really likes candy corn, and it confounds me. You know when you you there's a certain house that you remember from years past because they always had like the full size candy bars. No. Nope. Yep. Or. Uh, yeah, I do remember that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like some people would hand out like pencils. And, oh and God! You, you remembered them. Like, there you was, knew. There was a house. There still is a house. I mean, I don't know if the same people live there, but the house still stands. Mm-hmm. And these motherfuckers used to hang out, hand out. I don't even know where you get them, but uh, fun size Nutrigrain bars. It's surprising to me that that house is still standing. That nobody, that no, no group of kids got together and burned it. Like to the it ground. just didn't get like teepeed over, you know, like yeah. so much teepee <laughs> so that it imploded. <laughs> yeah, I could see that happening. Oh, you guys have any other Halloween memories? I well, remember that one. It was the first Halloween I went out. Uh, it was like early '90s when there was like four and a half feet of snow. I, re- uh, I was right about yeah. to mention that one. I remember that one. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. It was like when we would, you know, we were too stupid to go to the end of the driveways and go back in the road. So we'd just run through, like, snow that was up to our armpits just to get to the next person's house. But that was kind of the fun of it. Yeah. I feel like every kid in Minnesota lost, like, 10 pounds that, that winter. Yeah. I'd like to hear people's – some some neato Halloween stories from people. Um, maybe if you guys want to email them into uh, the, the radio nomad at gmail.com, we'll definitely take a listen to that. Speaking of which, let's get some listener mail. Yeah. Um, it's that time. It's that time. Listener mail. Listener mail. Uh, Listen let's to mail time. Listen uh, to mail time. Come on. Let me get some air time. Okay. okay. This one just says, <laughs> hey, what do you guys drink during the show? Urine. Mm. Human urine. Uh, well, I can, I'll field this one for myself. Um, I usually just drink water and Coke. I guess that's not very exciting. I'm drinking some Black Label and Jameson this week. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, it depends who's nice. here. If uh, if the guys who like some uh, who like the cock, if they're around here, the fighting cock, that is. Mm-hmm. Naturally. And I feel oh, this yeah. is a good time for <laughs> me to drink some cock. I <laughs> like our guest Moose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he loved to drink the cock. That's for sure. If there's one thing I'll remember about him. It's his. It's just how wait, he just wait, did gravitated to towards Moose? the cock. You're oh, talking I just about him, mean like, since he's been on the show. Oh, okay, yeah. I was I, I was scared. <laughs> no, he's fine. I was gonna say I was about to send some flowers to his wife. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's. Uh, <laughs> I know the lady. <laughs> I don't think he's even close to that. She's gonna be really confused. Yeah, that's true. She's like, sorry for your loss about your husband. Like, I'm not even married. Like, well, what do you drink, beard? Uh, beer. Okay, I'm uh, a big beer guy. Beer. You drink beer. your beard. I drink your beer, beard in. Beard. From yeah. this side of the room, but I, you know what, I'm kind of want. I might have some whiskey tonight. I kind of feel like a little bit of uh, there's hot this, dude. Well, there's this stuff called honey whiskey, which is real good because it, it's like you just throw a couple ice cubes in there and if man, you drink, it's good. It's just like a, I don't know. It just goes down quick. It just sounds easy. so good. If you, magical. If you drink enough of it, you will grow a uterus, though. Yeah. Unlike Jameson, which puts hair everywhere. Oof, even where you don't want it. Dude, yeah. okay, there's this really weird mail that we got, and I I don't know. I guess I'm just going to read it, but it, I mean. Well, I don't know what else you would do to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I don't even get it, but okay, it says, hello, fellow nomads. I see you like, it says, 
I see you sound like a shriveling ball sack dried in the desert sand as well. Sure. Why do you all sound like this? No, why do we all sound like this? Gustano. Uh, yeah, well, that's <laughs> a, a, a very valid point. Um, my best guess would be... Um, uh, nope, nothing. Next, mail. I mean, I feel... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, this says, hi, I live nearby and I'm thinking about coming to the show. Should I bring anything? Jason. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> ever could that be? <laughs> um, I'm yeah, not- bring, bring some, bring some I would say, to drink. Yeah. Bring a couple of bucks to throw in the tip jar. Mm-hmm. And oh, a violin. If you got them, bring your hot dudes and your hot girls. Um, I don't know. Is there really anything hot else we dudes, need? Hot dudes, hot Bring an open heart. I'm going to be honest with you. Anybody, I don't care who you are, you show up with a tater tot hot dish, oh, yeah. I will welcome you with open arms. Oh, that's true. So the uh, food is always good. Write this down. Hot fel- dudes, fellow nomads. hot chicks, hot dish. <laughs> that's that's that. Those are the, the three <laughs> nomad uh, tenants. The three nomad hotties. <laughs> It's a spooky Halloween nomad, and we're here in Rumpus School Room. I don't know. It's just Halloween, and I'm trying to get in the spirit, even though I'm kind of a, a Debbie Downer about Halloween. But good I'll effort, get, bro. I'll get there eventually. But uh, we got a lot of good material coming up. We're gonna have an awesome show. So listen up to the next five yeah, five segments or someone. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be coming right back at you with some more hot action on the radio nomad 